Hello again, my flying monkeys. This is P Shop Witch Wizard, and I have one question. Is your dumpling hot enough? That's my catchphrase. Open every tutorial with that. So today we're going to be doing some very quick uh, tip tutorial in Photoshop CS4, Adobe Photoshop CS4. And we're going to be dealing with ruining photos in CS4 using some of the newer features specific to CS4. Stuff you couldn't necessarily do in CS3 or CS2 or CS. So this is our photo. Uh, pretty basic. I just have a Google alert for Turkish robe images. So this came up and I figured it would work fine for a tutorial like this. So we're going to start just editing the foreground. Uh, so we'll zoom into the face here. And we'll use our pointy finger uh, tool here to... Uh, adjust the nostril because lately they've been s doing studies of the general consumer public and people are now considering the nostril a, a blemish um, the black part under the nostril so photographers are trying to get away uh, trying to get no models to tilt their head down but if you get a photo in this in the post process you'll probably have to get rid of it so we're just gonna click and try to yank yank it right out of the foreground get it to blend Okay. All right. So that looks good. We'll zoom out. Now that we like what we have going on in the foreground, we're going to get into custom shapes. A lot of cool stuff. Just kind of like um accent colors. Just kind of like a uh a train train explosion. Um These are all pretty specific. Your client will tell you which one they want. But then at the end of every photo you got you're going to want to register, copyright it, and probably put your website uh, somewhere, but not too, not too visible, just visible enough. So now, of course, dealing with the what's happening with the public, they're into this skinnier model, so we'll zoom out, select her, control T, skinny it up a little bit, not too much. And you'll see... Um, it's not affecting the foreground graphics because those are different layers, which is great CS5 feature. So now I'm really liking where we're at. We're going to use some really cool new advanced CS4 features in the uh, selection. Uh, the grow feature is new, so that kind of beefed it up. Um, the 3D stuff is just the whole plan. We'll do a lot more tutorials, but if we... Um, new tile uh, panning that's a great way to uh... then you select the area and you're gonna show layer edges so that's that's gonna make it pop if if you're in a crunch and just need something popping making it loud making it making it visually loud that's a great way to do it now that we kind of we're liking our mise en scene, we're going to uh, give it some analysis. All all CS4 features. We're, we're going to record all our measurements uh, from the start on the animation. Just kind of play through it, and we're going to move that, and then you'll see as we play through the frames, this moves back to center, and then just data points kill them. So this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth uh, images on the screen. Great. Then to finish it off, give it an antique thing, we're going to get into the gradient tool. Quicker way to get to it is the command G shortcut. And then, uh, so we're in the gradient. One way to do it is draw it across, and it's going to update every image simultaneously. So it's one-stop shopping in CS4. It takes saves so much time. And then we're going to command E-R-E-R, E-T-E-T, -R -E -R -E -T -E -T, transform, yeah, convert, and just... So these Adobe programmers insert a lot of, like, Disney jokes into the shortcut. So if you do command Aladdin, you, it just goes straight to Flickr. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, Cool, that should do it little quick before and after before and after 
you animate the after. So we've come a long way in just a few minutes. Um, if you have any other tips you want me to do, write it in the comments. Message me, I'll hit you back. Um, I think that's it. And I'll leave you with, The dumpling was quite satisfactory.